I'm Dr. Nan Taylor, and I will be teaching the online course Personality Psychology. As a way to introduce psychological science, it is helpful to consider that for most of human history, the measure of the strength of an idea or practice was whether it stood the test of time. In recent centuries, since the appearance of the scientific method, we base our evaluations on the quality and quantity of the evidence. The psychological science approach to the study of personality focuses on four key elements. First, we look at the words we use to describe and differentiate people on the basis of traits. Second, we look at the actions that put personality on display and reveal consistencies in habits and expectations of control and efficacy. Third, we look beneath the surface words and behaviors to discover the influence of motives and needs on personality. Are persons consistently differentiated on the basis of motives such as the need to achieve, or the need for power, or the need to help others? These three elements, trait concepts, behaviors, and needs, have come to represent the structure of personality. The fourth element that focuses our research is the study of the stories that people tell or write as revealed in interviews and conversations. Storytelling reveals a facility to describe oneself in the thick of ongoing experience as a remembered autobiographical self and as an imagined future self. Stories demonstrate the capacity to capture a sense of continuity across time and situations. Finally, persons seem able to select moments that are self-defining and organize a series of experiences in ways that suggest causality and intention. It has been suggested that the first three elements identify the structure of personality, and the fourth element provides both the origin and the glue that gives rise to personality and maintains the coherence of personality over time. A core concern with consistency and individual differences unites the structural and storytelling features of personality. And increasingly, the study of personality moves towards a perspective that engages the possibility that personality might not represent the singularity of one and only real me or real you. Rather, there is an emerging consensus that personality represents a multiplicity of me's as evident in the tendency of people to rely on the expression, part of me, when describing themselves and their positions. The evidence to be considered in this course demonstrates the vitality of a science that has provided the tools that allow for future discovery. For science, as for story, the most interesting question is the what happens next. How does what we know about personality today increase our knowledge of personality tomorrow?